Hey guys, it's Marty and welcome to Two Line Slot Cars. This video is going to be some test and tune with the new Slot It Porsche 962 number 5 Hexcel. Hey guys, uh, this is my first Group C car that that I own. <laughs> Our good buddy Daryl has sent us home with a few Group C cars to, to mess with on the track, but this is my first one that I've owned, um, that I've tuned uh, start to finish, and I have to say uh, this is a fantastic car. One, it's a great livery. I'm kind of a fan of the green. You don't see a lot of green slot cars, so... Um, I really, really kind of fell in love with the livery. Now, I know if I want to compete in Group C, I should probably own the, I should probably own the Jag, right? I mean, that's what, that's what the hot car is uh, because of the slotted uh, USA Nationals last year at Electric Dreams. My brother owns one. He has the Castrol. John Mark has the Bud Light car. I just couldn't follow suit. Um, I wanted to know if I could make another car compete. Um, it's very close. When you compare these two, the wheelbase of the Jag is just slightly... Let me get this in. Just, just a little longer wheelbase. And they track, I will say that their track is exactly the same. So no, I, this really wasn't supposed to be a comparison video uh, between the Porsche 962 and the Jaguar. What is this? Um, is it an XJ10 maybe? I don't know. I really like this car. Uh, this car needs to get tuned up. Um, and get ready for the track. I put it on the track right off the bat. It was quick. And then I realized I had left the magnet in right out of the box. It has a magnet. It has a magnet. So um, I pulled the magnet out and I still run pretty good laps, but I have been able to get this tuned up pretty good. So let's tear it apart, see what I did. I'll explain real quick and kind of go through uh, my tuning process with this car with the slotted 962 Porsche number five Hexcel. So let's tear it apart. So guys, there are two screws, um, and I'm going to measure how how many turns I have because I don't have this written down. The front screw, the front screw, I am at a half a turn, and the rear screw, I am at three quarters of a turn, and that's just where I landed. Um, there might be some tweaking that I do. So just a standard slot it chassis. Uh, pretty straightforward inline motor, uh, standard gearing. This is all stock. Um, so what I've done, what I've done to this car, um, I've obviously lubed it. I set up the front end, put it on the block. And um, yeah, put it up on the setup block. And I can turn. Just barely. Now, I do plan to um, to true those a little bit because I I don't think they're perfectly round. Um, so when I get the truer back from my brother, um, I'll true those front tires up and uh, to get that front end set up uh, maybe just a touch better. I don't want to overtune it. It's running pretty good. 1403 tires from Super Tires. Uh, silicones, we run silicones on the track here at Two Line Speedway. You can see I did add some weight. I've added about six grams of weight. I've got one piece of lead just in front of the motor pod, just behind the body mount. And then I've got just a small piece. You can see I've got just a small piece there um, just behind the guide. And I will tell you that um, that placement works out really well. Now, there will be a lot of people that will tell you that you 
should just buy the ballast, the tungsten weights, and put in that. And that's a really, those are about two and a half grams a piece. But I feel like having that weight forward really keeps the tail uh, pretty pretty still on this. Um, it, it, uh, it has a little bit of drift, but it's not, uh, it's not too crazy. So I feel like it's a really easily controlled car. Now, a lot of times people will put weight out here. I just, I find that that really, uh, sometimes messes up the whole balance and the turn and you get the rear end moving around a little more than you'd like. So, um, I really like where that weight is. Uh, it is performing really well. Um, I did change the guide out. This is a slotting plus guide. Just gives just a little more confidence in the slot. Um, I really like it. Um, that's the original braid. I didn't change the braid out. I like the slotted braid. It lays really flat and it's pretty thin. So it's pretty easy to work with. So all in all, I'm pretty happy. And honestly, guys, that is really all of the tuning that I've done. Um, a little bit of oil, um, some lithium uh, grease on the gears. Um, oil and all of the uh, bushings and uh, flip it over. I have, let's see, I think I have three quarter turn up front and a half turn for the pod in the back. Not tons of pod movement. I probably could play with that a little bit more. Um, and I threw some tape on just to see um, if it changed anything. That tape might come off. Um, my top, my fastest lap, I ran without the tape. And I'm really close to that fast lap with the tape on. So I'm not sure that it that it really has a huge impact. Um, keeps it pretty quiet, though. It is a very smooth and quiet car. Let's put it back together. Get the bonnet back on, as uh, our friend Dave at Slot R would say. Button it up and get it back out on the track. There you go, guys. There are some laps. Um, I like to do either a 10-minute race and try to get as many laps as I can in 10 minutes, or I'll do maybe a four-minute race and, and do that. But this time, I basically ran ten, a couple of 10-lap races. And this, this last 10-lap race, I ran an 8716, 8738, 8684, 8699, 8958, 8971, 8828. I mean, that's pretty consistent laps. Those mid eight laps, I think it's probably a four minute race, is probably 20, uh, 23, 24 laps, maybe. Um, and that's, that's moving mainly because the thing stays in the slot so well. So, guys, I, I would recommend this. If you are looking for a Group C car and you like the slot at Group Cs, this is an excellent car, the 962 in this livery. They are releasing another livery soon. Um, that is the uh, Fat Turbo livery. Probably going to have to have that car. Um, even though we all have been saying no more cars. No new cars for a while. 
That's really hard. There's some really cool cars coming out. So, guys, I recommend it. I love this car. Fantastic. Running great around my track. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up so the algorithm pushes my video out to more people. And hit the bell so you get notified anytime I put new videos out. Guys, I hope you have a great weekend racing. And, uh, yeah, this car's great. I totally recommend it. I mean, come on, look at that thing. Wow. Guys, go have some fun racing.